All right, what's up, guys, and welcome to Retro Game Night, uh, based off of Gaming History 101. I'm your host. My name's Fred Rojas, and tonight we've got kind of an interesting thing. So uh, we're going to be looking at Wolfenstein 3D on two 16-bit consoles, uh, the first one being its natural release on the Super Nintendo, where it was available uh, back in, pff, I want to say, 93, 94. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of a modified version. It does have mouse support. I've never tried the keyboard and mouse, or the, the mouse, because I think one button opens the doors and one button shoots, and then you use the mouse to move around. Seems like a weird way. I have the mouse, but uh, I don't know if I want to try it. Anyway, real quick, the reason we're doing this is because um, recently somebody ported Wolfenstein 3D to the Genesis. Completely usable, completely workable on a flash cart. I know because I've tried it, and uh, and we're going to compare the two. So anyway, we're going to play about five ten minutes of this. Um, it starts off telling the story of B.J. Black Blaskowitz, and as you can see right away, this is a modified version. The uh, toolbar down at the bottom, very different from how it appeared on uh, on the uh, the PC. Additionally. Uh, the controls are okay. Uh, the graphics seem like enhanced and modified in ways they can be. Soundtrack seems different. It's a little more upbeat, things like that. But also, the graphics are a little bit blockier, and you can see that the amount of uh, screen real estate is somewhat compromised. Now, when you start fighting guys, you can definitely tell the difference. Um, the rooms seem slightly modified in their layout, uh, but for the most part, they're the same. Um, and uh, no blood. Of any kind. Um, so. I'm guessing that was from a guard in a different room. This room slightly modified from its original. But yeah, as you can see, the guards will come and, and things like that. And the sound is great, uh, one of the strengths of the SNES. But, uh, yeah, graphically, it's a little rough to see. You can also see that when you get close, you can tell it's using Mode 7 graphics in some way. No specialized chips or anything. You can also see all the Nazi propaganda. These used to be SS, you know, swastika eagles, and so were these. And this is supposed to be Hitler, and they've removed his mustache so that it's not Hitler. They made some changes to clearly make this. Oh, yes, and the dogs have been changed into rats, seemingly, I guess, to make them... Uh, make you less of a terrible person when you kill them. <laughs> the sound when they die is absolutely priceless. Um, Wolfenstein 3D had a decent amount of uh, real estate used up uh, just for random corridors and whatnot, so we're going to look more into this, but it's interesting to see. But see, off in the distance, you can't even tell that that was a guy down there. This is a secret in the exact same place it used to be, but this is where you get the machine gun, which is quintessential to beating this game, or level at least, with decent uh, ease. See, at first I can't tell what's background and what's enemy, but uh, clearly uh, we know that answer. Um, I think there's a treasure in here. There is. Okay. Oh no, it's bullets. It's fine. I can use 86 bullets. Alright, let's see. Now, on a D-pad, the controls aren't great, but at the same time, uh, a lot better than keyboard and mouse for a guy like me. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, this early id iteration uh, has almost no aiming. Uh, it's a very impressive uh, engine that John Carmack and the boys at uh, uh, id Software created with a four-man team, but at the same time, uh, it was the, you know, while this was the advent of the first-person shooter, it's important to note that this was the advent of the first-person shooter. So, it wouldn't be until Doom that it gets a little bit more dynamic, but uh, I have it on good authority. You may be getting more information about Doom than you ever bargained for, and maybe a long-running project will finally find its way. Uh, into fruition. This is the crazy strafing guy. He's usually responsible for my death in the harder versions of the original. Um, I almost wonder if these flags cover up like crazy Nazi. 
propaganda that they just couldn't find a good solution for. Anyway, uh, again, this level seems moved around and stripped for some reason. I could be wrong, but it just doesn't feel quite like the original. But there we go. Took me four minutes to get through that, really? Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to play one more level, and then we'll call it, but uh, um, this is just like a quick intro to Wolfenstein. Walking in circles is no big deal. You can go push up against anything. It's fine. These are the armored machine gun gunners. There seems to be, much like the 3DS, there seems to be like a sweet spot. Like, if you can look at it from specifically this angle, you'll be okay. Naturally, I find all the shortcuts and cigarettes are still where they're kind of supposed to be, but... <laughs> Nearly died. You can see BJ doesn't look like he's dying when he gets all bloodied up and roughed up and... Doesn't even really look like BJ, but... <laughs> not to be a dick. Kind of looks like a guy who could be named a BJ. Kind of looks like a, a douche of some kind. Let's see here. Not to suggest, actually, to be clear, that BJ Blaskowitz is a douche. Because BJ Blaskowitz, as we know, is an amazing human being. Especially for those who played the original. Or the new one. But, uh... I think I found my way all the way back to the beginning. Good for me. Uh, this is something very common for first-person shooters of the era. You can get lost. Very lost. For long periods of time. And never know your way out. But eventually, by hook or by crook, where you need to go comes clear into view. Not that it did here, but all right. Lots of pushing on tiles, lots of oh. So this was the way I was supposed to go. How about that? Basically the rule was if you kept bumping into bad guys, you were probably on the right track. Saw some sweat. It's an old Mortal Kombat trick. Uh, but it definitely goes to show, and if you haven't heard the newest Gaming History 101 where I made fun of this, it definitely goes to show why it has the box cover it does, and why this was even acceptable on the SNES at the time it was, because the game is rather violent for the time. It was even given a PC-13 rating by id's internal department, which uh, means about nothing, but it is the uh, id equivalent, self-policed equivalent of a PG-13, so there is that. Now, I'm fairly certain that the Genesis version we will look at in a sec is a direct port. Like, they basically just ported it to the Genesis. There's got to be a way they did that um, without doing too much work. Um, but that does mean it's going to be a different, slightly different game, as we'll see in a second. Come on. Runs at a decent frame rate, though. Decent resolution. I gotta give it credit, like, if you need a quick and dirty port of Wolfenstein to, uh, sell your 16-bit console, which, it was a pretty big deal back then. Um, I could see this solving that problem. However, the problem of where the hell is the end level, that's a problem I have to solve that I'm not doing a very good job. Been here before. Again, very common to anyone who's ever played first person shooters back in the 90s. It's a real case of I've been here before. I think there's a map. 
If I pause, there is a damn map. Where's the exit? Is that the exit or is that the start? I feel like I'm basically looking at the exit. Let's see. It's either the exit or the start. Or it's neither. Or it's just a dead end and it looks clever. <laughs> Okay, it's a painting at the end, we know that. This will take me somewhere. This will take me back through the abyss I've already seen. It's a dead end. But apparently I haven't seen what's down here? Through here. Stop. Ha ha ha! That would have been so much harder in the real game. Trust me. Well, thank God for maps that I never used in the original game. Swinging your BJ Blaskowitz like he's a slow moving boat. Bodies everywhere. And that's level two in the bag. Yeah, <laughs> took me so much longer. Anyway, alright, so that's the Super NES version. Now, let's take a look at uh, the Genesis version. So we'll catch you on the flip side in 30 seconds. All right, so as I realized I said <laughs> right before this started, uh, I said 30 seconds. You don't know if it's 30 seconds. But anyway, what you see here is what is basically exactly what you'd see if you had booted up Wolfenstein 3D in 1992 on a, a IBM or, a, or whatever. And these options look completely the same. What's really interesting is, and this is the Genesis, this is running on a Sega Genesis through a flash cart, but the actual hardware, I'm running this on an actual Sega Genesis. And it has stuff like graphics, and they're actual filters you can put on. It's absolutely awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna go normal, no filter. And let's compare these two versions real quick. So, here we go. As you can see, unlike uh, the original game, uh, like the PC, you've got all the episodes ready to go from the get. I think there was a seventh episode, but I could be wrong. That might have been DLC or something like that. These were the different difficulties. I love this, where he's like a baby. Don't hurt me. He kind of scared. That's the BJ Blazkowicz most of us know. And Death Incarnate. It's almost like a hint of Doom Guy. I'm going to go Don't Hurt Me because Bring Him On tends to be a little difficult if you miss what you're doing. But anyway, all right, so as we can see, uh, a relatively significant part of the real estate is taken up here as well, but there's already a dead guy here, which su suggests probably that, you know, BJ's killed him to get out. But anyway, this is a pretty, this is a straight PC port. I mean, in every way, shape, and form. Uh, if you were to play the normal version, there would have been a, a guy there waiting for your clip. His rooms are mostly health. You have no reason to need them, but they didn't change the layout of the game as the difficulty changed, so these were basically just there um, to provide health if you needed it. Um, a lot of people say that the resolution is better on this version. I kind of get that because you, it's a little more clear as to what's going on. Um, guys don't tend to blend into the background, but at the same time... And while the sound doesn't sound as good as it did on uh, the SNES, this is exactly what you would have heard back in the uh, on the PC. Um, the, as you can see, we kill the dog, complete with dog food. Um, again, this is through and through a direct PC port. 
and uh, a pretty good one at that. It's running, it's running smooth. Um, it's very nostalgic, and uh, it's, in my opinion, a pretty technical feat when you consider it's on the Genesis. Um, if you have a flash card, I mean, you can do it in an emulator. It might almost be an easier way to run this game, but um, oh, and you can go back. Interesting. Okay. Um, but in my opinion, uh, the biggest draw for this is just, uh, <laughs> all these sounds are directly from the PC. Uh, it might just be an easier way to run the game, but, uh, again, the, the more impressive side is if you actually have a Genesis like I do, you can play it on. Um, the way I'm doing it is through a flash cart. There are many out there. The one I particularly care for is the EverDrive because it makes it real easy. It's prone to piracy, so please, kids, do not be a pirate. But it also allows you to play awesome things. Like uh, a couple episodes ago, I did the uh, uh, Master System Smash Melee and uh, now Wolfenstein. It's always cool when these things come out. Oh, as you can see, as we're talking about it here, the swastika propaganda. Or, well, it's the swastika on the eagle. Um, this is what this is supposed to look like. It's clearly Adolf Hitler. Resolution is much better. Each of these red flags is actually swastikas. Uh, because um, Wolfenstein 3D takes place, if you don't know, in uh, Castle Wolfenstein during World War II. I'm sure you can probably already tell, but the layout is a bit different in this game than it was in the SNES version. I'm not quite sure why that is, um, since this is a pretty, like, not to make it sound negative, but a pretty effortless PC port. They just found a way to get the PC version to run perfectly fine, and it's only 3 megs. I believe it was more than 3 megs on the PC, but I could be wrong. But uh, this is definitely not the same uh, setup from, oh, there you go, kill ratio, which they clearly didn't want to talk about on here. Do you want to save the game? Sure. Oh, sweet. And there's a save, which on the SNES I don't think I showed off, but it was actually a password. Sounded like someone was looking for me. It looks like I'm basically on the floor that's the dog kennels. Don't like killing dogs, but in Wolfenstein you really have no choice. And let's face it, they're virtual dogs, so no actual doggies were harmed in the making of this game. Okay. That's kind of the dead end. I haven't heard any Mudleven, but it depends on what version you've played of this game. As you can see, I'm sure the skeletons hanging from the ceiling were not in the original game. Um, but we also, in the SNES um, version, did not, or the the enemy types ramped up. Uh, seemingly much faster than this. Uh, we're still just fighting dogs and, and regular Nazi soldiers. Um, we already had the uh, blue bulletproof machine gun soldiers in the uh, SNES version by this point in level 2, which again is very counter to what we had seen before. Layout seems yet again similar but different. I do love the treasure sound from the original game. Again, those nostalgic for the original game are going to find more of a what they're looking for kind of scenario than a uh, more of a direct port. Something that probably reminds them of most of their childhood if they played it back then. 
or at least if you've played the original, it's going to feel a little more faithful, whereas the SNES version was just, like most, uh, and I think it was officially either licensed or even developed by id, it's most likely just, like, they did the best they could to try to make a personalized version for that console, working with both its strengths and weaknesses. that side. Let's go over here. Eventually I will find the exit. Wait, I think that's where I came from. Uh, shoot, I can't tell. If I killed that guy... No, I don't think I went this way, actually. Classic Wolfenstein. <laughs> Classic MacGruber. It's best to just push in on every wall. You never know which one's going to be the secret you've been looking for. Let's see? Oh, no. The sound just triggered when I pushed up against it. There's a blue guy. That's what I was looking for. Love it. Can't remember. They might even have a version that goes like Scheiße! Which is German for shit. Just in case you need an explanation. Of that. And I'm sure most of you didn't, even if you didn't know what it meant. Somehow I was able to kill that guy from across the room. Which means you do not mess with BJ Blaskowitz. BJ Blaskowitz. I'm guessing it's supposed to be uh, Jewish. Purely based off his name. Looks like a dead end, but I found a bunch of treasure, which is always important. Stats at the end. I gotta say, like, depending on whether or not you have this version, this is an enjoyable version of the game. No map, though. So I might be lost in these catacombs forever. Seemingly none of these were the way. Oh, that's how you switch weapons. If you have a six button controller, why switches weapons? Oh, I don't think I've been in here. Oh, oh, he says. Which means I might be on the right track. Remember what I said. Follow the live bodies, not the dead bodies. Ha 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 ha! Oh, but this might just be a secret area. It means good, but it means I'm nowhere. I'm not near my my target, my goal of being at the end of this level.
This could be near the end of the level. Whew. You don't want to be close to those guys. They will kill you! They seem to be much more lethal at long distances. These guys are only really effective up close. Fortunately, I'm on an easy enough setting that uh, not too much going on. Also found the end. As long as this guy gets off my booty. And as you can see, BJ down there gets all bloodied and whatnot. What? I not found the key for the end. Is that what I need? Do I need a key? I think I need a key. Damn it. Um, anyway, BJ gets all bloody. There's the key. Yay! This is where I beat the level. And where we say, this is a faithful but adieu ending to the Wolfenstein thing. Uh, I'm gonna say I agree, though, with the, uh, many that have said the, uh, especially the person who made it, that this is the definitive version. If only because it's a direct PC port, which I understand is not authorized and from a licensing perspective plus a Super Nintendo perspective probably was not gonna happen. So anyway, if you've got it, if you got a flash card, check it out. Peace. <laughs>